This is the automated test fixture I built to perform end-of-line tests for the Modius N1 brushless motor controller board. It's able to bring probe pins in from five sides of the board, power the board in a controlled manner, validate all of its external connections, and do so with a quick per board cycle time. The hardware was designed in Fusion 360 and printed on a Prusa Mark 3S. Removable probe plates exist for the five test directions. Some of the probes are hand whittled JST GH connectors, and some are removable pogo pins. Many of the pogo pins have their holes directly 3D printed but the smallest PA50 style probes for 1.5 millimeter pitch connectors had to be hand drilled using a $15 micro PCB repair manual drill. The probe receptacles were then pressed into place. The smallest had wires pre-crimped and the larger were solder cup. An MJ5208 brushless motor is integrated for two reasons. One, to spin a magnet under the magnetic encoder, and two, to test the drive stage power electronics. Linear motion is guided by cheap linear rails and HK0408 bearings. All the other moving structures are 3D printed with heat set inserts and bolts for construction. The frame is built from 2020 extrusion and 3D printed brackets. In the back of the frame is a Meanwell 24 volt DC supply with 3D printed structure holding it and a switch together. Attached to the top of the frame is a Raspberry Pi 4 with touchscreen and an MJBOTS Pi 3 hat mounted in a 3D printed enclosure. The Pi 3 hat powers the Raspberry Pi from 24 volts and provides a CAN adapter to communicate with an MJBOTS power disk board. The power disk is modified with a larger sense resistor so it can accurately measure much smaller currents and so that it can be powered on and off via CAN. The Raspberry Pi also drives a 7 port USB 3 hub. This drives a RS-422 transceiver, a high speed UART, an STM32 programmer, a speaker, and a custom Nucleo STM32 IO expander. The IO expander is a simple PCB with 0.1 inch connectors a few resistor dividers for sensing analog inputs, and connectors to insert a nucleo board. Connections from the probes largely go to the IO expander, where ground power and GPIO are tested. Some further go on to the USB devices. A single main lever pull actuates the whole mechanism. First, the top plate moves down to clamp the board into position. Once it is in place, guided channels drive the HK0408 bearings to move the three side plates into position. A hall sensor monitored by the IO expander determines when the lever is engaged and activates the test cycle. The UI is console based and uses the Python textual library. It shows the result of the current ongoing test and also the most recent test. A sound plays when the current board is done being physically tested. Then the results are uploaded in parallel with the next board being installed. That's it. Thanks for watching.